Hi, in this video I will tell you about another basic operation in plasticity, which is the extrusion cut. In the previous video I showed how the extrusion operation works. This is a fundamental operation for creating 3D solids in 3D cut systems, where we create a 3D solid based on a 2D sketch. This operation also works in such a way that we can remove material from the body based on a 2D sketch. And to do this, select the area on the basis of which we want to perform this operation and the extrude operation is activated here. If we add an extrusion, another part of the body will be created, but if we add an extrusion downwards, then in this case another part of the body will also be created. I will click OK and pay attention to what has happened here. I will turn off the visibility of this solid and this solid has been created. I will press Ctrl plus Z to remove this solid. OK. We will go back to the moment when we have flat geometry and based on something like this we can remove material from this body. Here we add an extrusion with a negative value. If you want to specify it precisely, you can enter a specific value here, press the D key and type for example minus 5 and then press enter to accept it. And before you accept this operation, press the W key on the keyboard to apply the material removal. And now you have to select the body from which you want to remove this extrusion. Select this solid and click OK. And something like this has been created in such a way that material has been removed from this body based on this extrusion. Here I will turn off the visibility of this flat geometry and we have created something like this. I will press Ctrl plus Z to return to this moment and as for this operation we can also select several areas. We do this while holding the Shift key and based on the selected areas we can apply this operation. Press the D key, type minus 7, press enter and press the W key, select the body and click OK. And we have done something like this. Once again I will go back to the moment when we have flat geometry. OK, and now I will add an extrusion in such a way, that is, I will add an extrusion, type D-7, hit enter and hit enter again. And we have two such bodies, I will turn off the visibility of the flat geometry. And if we have something like this and we want to create pockets in the body, we don't have to do it at the extrusion stage, we can also do it at this stage. We can do it in such a way that we subtract these two bodies from this box. And to do this, we need to select first the body from which we will subtract these bodies. So we select this body and next while holding the shift key, we need to select these bodies. You can also do this in the element list. Here we do it with the control key. Select first this box and then these two solids. OK. And now we need to activate the boolean operation, which is an operation where we can subtract bodies. We can click this icon or we can press the Q key on the keyboard. And here the difference operation is selected by default, which means subtracting one body from another. And click OK to confirm and in this way we have created same thing as before. That is, 
we have simply removed a fragment of material from this larger body. And as for removing material, it simply works like this. We have flat geometry. We can create flat geometry on any face of the solid. I select this face and press the spacebar to activate temporary construction plane and set a view perpendicular to this face. Next, let's create some geometry, for example, like this. Close this temporary construction plane and now based on this geometry we can remove material from this solid. Select this geometry, drag this gizmo, select the difference option that is press the W key on the keyboard and select this body as the body from which we will remove this material and click OK to confirm. I will turn off visibility of the flat geometry and this is how the extrusion cut works in plasticity. It is a simple operation but alongside extrusion it is also frequently used when creating 3D solids. We will finish here, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.